Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to another yarn. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. I love our time together. I like being able to be in my room and looking at everything and thinking, huh, what sounds interesting today? One of the things that I have noticed in my videos is I talk a lot about bobbles. Those bumpy bits and that texture and all of those just Oh, glorious things that you put on your knitting and crocheting. Can't help it. I love the texture. That's what got me into knitting to begin with, was a different, different type of texture than what crochet has. Crochet was my number one love. I started doing that when I was 10 years old, so a lot of years. And then I think I picked up knitting, uh, really picked it up around 25 years ago. So I love doing crafts, working with fibers, uh, knitting, crocheting. I've done weaving, finger weaving, I, you know, anything. You can make it out of yarn. I'm there. Let's give it a try. I don't spin. That's another craft. I'm not against it. I think it's gorgeous. I just have enough going on. But I just noticed I do a lot of bobbles. I do a lot of bobbles. I thought you guys might want to see that I am not exaggerating. I make a lot of bobbles. Most people don't like bobbles. They take time. Uh, they're tedious. They're a little bit slower. They would rather do anything. Kind of like the purl stitch if you're a knitter. They don't want to do it. It's like, uh, it's got popcorn stitches. Oh my gosh, this round has eight popcorn stitches. I'm done. I'm out of there. All right? Or knitting with nups. That's another one that's uh, time consuming and tedious. And that one doesn't really bother me either. So I just want to show you just a few things. So if you saw my mystery yarn challenge, you'll know that I created this gorgeous sweater and then put all those bobbles in there, right? So that was fun, just these, you know, in contrasting colors and everything. And I crocheted the bobbles in this knitted garment. But you know, okay, so you're like, that's that's not bad. That's some, right? That's you you've got some bobbles. Okay, you like bobbles, no big deal. Well, you may or may not have seen this one. I know I did a book review on this, this octopus. You're like, oh, that's not too bad. You notice these tentacles? Look at that. What is that? There are 36 bobbles per tentacle, 18 on each side of each tentacle. That's a whopping 288. Yep. Only an insane person would make this. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look how well it lays. Oh, that was so much fun. So this is a knitted stuffed animal. And yes, I crocheted the bobbles on and made it so much faster. There's 288. That's a lot. 288. Okay. I like my bobbles. All right. So you might have seen when I was showing off the bamboo pop, which is absolutely wonderful to work with, this dress. I showed it from the back of my granddaughter wearing this. What do these look like at the bottom? So obviously there's bobbles. Those are supposed to be angels. My husband doesn't think that they're angels. He looks at it, all he sees are spiders. Do you see angels or spiders? You can tell me, tell me the truth. Angels, spiders, what do you see? What do you see in there? He sees spiders. Oh, I should have turned on my ring light. I have it sitting there, this sitting on the ring light. I've got the natural window light on. I thought it was good enough, but then when I hold these things up, it changes color. Yeah. All the bobbles. I like my bobbles. So another work in progress that you haven't seen, because I need to put sleeves on, I just haven't showed it to you yet. Look at that. I don't know if you can see them. Oh yeah. The bottom here, all covered in bobbles. I will show this more in depth in a different video. But yeah, all covered in bobbles. Everything. Everything I do. In my own design. Whatever. Um, that's a feather and fan lace at the bottom, just something that I started working on in my head. Or just, okay, it's not written down, it's not planned. I just threw bobbles on it and made it good. Bobbles make everything better. I haven't finished this. It's close. Covered in bobbles. Front and back. Baby dress. I know. Just the tiny little bit of finishing left to do around the neck edge and the arms. I got past the fun part. Hello. Hundreds of bobbles everywhere. Yeah, I got a bobble issue. All right, another one. Bobbles? Yeah, I got bobbles. Look at that. Covered in bobbles. This is going to be a garment when it grows up, but right now it's just a big old skirt of bobbles. The whole thing, front and back, covered in bobbles. Noticing a pattern? I got past the bobble part and it's sitting. 
And then as I was thinking about doing this video, this is sitting there. It's Christmas stocking. Yep, all of those popcorn stitches. Mm-hmm, sure are. Bobbles everywhere. Yeah. And then if you've seen any of my Scrubby Sundays, own made up pattern, can't really tell that much, all of the popcorn stitches right around here in this round. This one, Crazy Poppy Lady, bobbles all around. Made a couple of those because, hello, those were fun. Yeah, loving the bobbles. This was a mandala type pattern, bobbles in there. What attracted me to that pattern? You guessed it, all the texture and bobbles. And then this one made up along the way. It's black and green, actually. My lighting's weird. Bobbles. So if I'm designing it, I'm making it up, I'm doing something with it, pretty sure there's going to be a bobble in it. I was joking earlier that I secretly put bobbles in just about everything I make. Sure, it's a secret. Yeah. But I just, I don't know what it is. I love the texture. I love the feel. I, I'm a very textural individual and plain stockinette stitch for knitting or just, you know, just a plain flat stitch for crocheting. I want texture. I want to put some front post, back post, double crochets. Um, as Amanda says, she does not like Amanda from Tap Mama and the Beg Brigade. If you haven't watched her, you probably should. Uh, but she does not like any of what she calls crochet gymnastics. Front post, back post, reaching down two rows below, hooking your yarn, something like that. I do. Yeah, that's some fun stuff. But we all like different things, right? Otherwise, we'd all look alike. We'd all wear the same things. We'd all whatever. And, you know, as the old joke goes, everyone would be in love with your grandma. But, um, yeah, it's a thing. It's okay. It's okay. We can like different things. So, I guess I will like the bobbles for all the people who don't. I'll put the little bobbles and the bumpy bits in there. But I just thought you might want to see, when I talk about all the bobbles, what I mean. Would you make any of the things that I've made? Would you shy away from them specifically because they had bobbles? I mean, this thing is so amazing. 288 bobbles. You toss this on the floor, these tentacles just lie perfectly. You can uh, pose it with anything. I mean, it is the absolute best amigurumi. Go back to one of my other videos if you're interested in this. I did a book review on this one, and the designer has a crochet book and a knitting book. So if you're strictly crochet, you can find something like that. If you're strictly knit, you can find something there too. But I did uh, do a review for this, and this octopus, just those tentacles are perfect. Most people, when you see there's 288 bobbles, aren't going to do it. My husband knows how to push my buttons. I didn't want to do it either, surprisingly. But he pushed my buttons, and I immediately started it because that man knows how to push my buttons. But uh, it's just how that goes, right? Isn't that why we love him? Let me know what you think. What would you make? What would you do? What's your stitch? What stitch do you do that uh, most people shy away from? What is it? Are, do you love that knit and purl? Do you love, um, some people don't like triple crochet or double triple. I have no problems with them. You know, obviously some people hate popcorn stitches, which are, what? You don't like popcorn stitches and baubles? Are you crazy? It's like the jewelry of your paper. It's a jewelry of your knitting and crocheting. It is. All these little bumps and bits, you appropriately put them on there. It's just great. Anyway, everyone, I just wanted to show you a small little partial collection of my baubles in progress. You guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. Bye-bye, everybody.